I guess it is. That's what everyone else looks at. I, I watch his practice, boy, I don't see it. But <laughs> Jimbo Fisher having some fun with the coaches poll rankings that came out today with Texas A&M at number 11. Good evening to you. Welcome live outside Kyle Field. We're four weeks from right now. A&M is going to be winding up their season opener with the Texas State Bobcats as Jimbo Fisher trying to get year two underway here with the Aggies and get that mentality and mindset to take hold. And judging by what we heard today, it certainly has. The number one motto for Fisher is good is not good enough. Talking about today's practice said that there were definitely some good things, but he wasn't certainly over the moon about it. Until the team gets full pads on, he says he wants to see a lot of mental reps. Those mental reps are going to be key for this team. Like he said, as they continue to progress throughout this fall camp, they're going to have to make those strides and get ready for that opener because there's still a lot of work left to do. Nah, I thought it was very average. I mean, as far as that, I mean, we'll, we'll see execution. And we'll see if it's execution because the other guy's making a play or because we're not doing something right. That's where the film will tell us. It's hard to tell sometimes always when you're on the practice field. I think that we're only going to get better and, you know, had some slip ups today, um, uh, both offense and defense making mistakes. But, you know, it's a first day with, you know, getting guys adjusted to the offense and defense. So, uh, like I said, we're going to continue to grow and we'll see where we're at at the end of fall camp. The guy you heard from right there, Kellen Mond, continuing his reign as the Aggies starting quarterback. Last year, Mond, one of the guys in the room. Now he's the guy in the quarterback room, taking control of not only that position, but the offense and the entire team, a role he is very comfortable with, with 21 starts under his belt, even though he knows his head coach expects a lot from him. It's a little bit different. You know, last year I was in a competition, but, you know, at the same time, I'm always going to be competing against myself. And, you know, it's always my job to, you know, try to help the other guys, the guys who aren't as experienced as me in this offense and uh, make sure they can, you know, continue to grow just like me. Okay. I mean, like I say, Kellen, I, I thought could have played better today. I mean, he was, had a solid day, but I thought he could have played better and, and uh, done some things. But we'll look at the film at why it happened. I got to look, was it a route? Was it a coverage? You know, whatever it may be. Was it a, you know, did we miss something up front or whatever? But uh, we'll look at it and see.